All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Wahal Rakak Wadash, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the Apostle and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all Yaakim out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. Now, this lesson is going to be entitled Touch Not My Anointed, Do My Prophets No Harm. Death to you two thirds. Now I'm about to play a, uh, a video clip from the live uh, camp session that we had this past Saturday, which was uh, June 16th, 2018. And this is the uh, uh, the camp that I'm in, uh, specifically out here in uh, uh, GMS Chicago. And uh, the YouTube channel is uh, is called um, uh, GMS Chicago Quam Bacarium. Okay, and you're going to see why we are so hard on our people, why we curse them out, and why we constantly say that two-thirds of our people are going to get destroyed, all right? And a lot of women are going to die, man, okay? Because two-thirds, you know, that's a big number, but the, but the majority of two-thirds is going to be uh, women, because women outnumber men. Okay? And the Lord's got something special for you women, man. Alright? And, and you men too. But right now, you know, when, when you see this... Uh, when, when I play this video clip, you're going to see how the woman... Okay? Stirred up all this madness, strife, and contention. And almost... It's her, she almost got everybody... You know, uh, 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 well, they would have been destroyed, man. Through the spirit, we would have destroyed these people, okay? But, you know, we all would have been, you know, in jail. You know, people would have been hurt, okay? Because of a fucking woman, man, all right? And this woman, though, they, they, these women don't care about anything, all right? But themselves and their, in their emotions and whatever they feel at that moment, okay? Because this woman also, uh, I have to add this, she almost... Uh, um, got two children uh, involved in this. One was maybe like two years old, and the other was probably maybe two to three months years old at most. All right, that shows you how low our women have uh, have uh, gotten. Okay, all right. But um, first I want to start off with this. Okay, dealing with these people out here. You know, while we're on the line, this is a part of the job description, okay? This is a part of uh, our work, all right? If you can't deal with this, you're not uh, a fit, all right, to be a prophet. And that's why a lot of our people, okay, that call themselves Israelites, all right, they don't want to go on the highways and byways because it's a rough, dirty job, man, all right? Now, I want to start off with this scripture. This is Matthew 20 and 21. And he said unto her, What would thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these... My two sons may sit, the one on the right hand and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. But Yahweh answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. And he saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand, and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Okay, and the reason why I'm bringing this out is you had um, James and John. They said that they were able to drink of the cup that Yahweh Shai was to drink. And what did Yahweh Shai uh, 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 drink? Persecution. You know, he was uh, attacked, spit on. Slandered, you know, uh, uh, you know, he, the, uh, um, his own people, all right, the Israelites, constantly bucked up against them, were rebellious, all right, and then ultimately he was uh, put to death. And now, when you uh, go into the history of um, the apostles. All of them died grievous deaths, minus John, uh, the Revelator. All right, 
And the reason why he didn't die was because he had to get the visions at the island of Patmos. All right. But the rest, they, they died horrible deaths. Okay. Like Yahweh Shai. All right. And those that go out there and preach, those that, that believe in his word, we also have to drink of that same cup. Okay. Because it says in, um, I forget where it's at, it's in the Gospels, but that, that uh, uh, the servant is not above uh, the master. So whatever Yahweh Shai went through, we're going to have to go through the same thing as well. Persecution by our own people, you know, getting attacked by our, uh, our people, spit on, slandered, all right? And that's why you two-thirds are going to get a terrible death, man, all right? Because you're fighting against... Uh, 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 those that were set up by uh, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is not a thing of man. This is not something that would even continue to stand if it were to be established by man. This is orchestrated and ordained by the Heavenly Father through His Son. And you people are going to learn really soon, okay? You're going to learn uh, everything death by pain, as the scripture saying. Uh, I believe that's um, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. All right, but you know, for us brothers out there who are, are preaching this word, this is a part of what we have to deal with. This is a part of our job, and uh, we just got to suck it up and, and, and just you know fight through this, man, spiritually. Okay. Now I want to uh, play this video clip, and um, you know, Lord willing, you know, uh, um, everything works out with this video clip. Come on, man. Let's see, this see? is Satan. So since this devil didn't show us no mercy, man, in the kingdom of heaven, he will receive no mercy, man. Right? And that's what the Bible says, man. To all these people, say that again. How's we denying the Bible when we read the Bible? Oh, because this this faggot right here? You talking about you talking about this fag right here? <laughs> this sodomite right here? You talking about this sodomite right here? Okay. What does that say? Who is that guy? Okay, so this this guy is actually this guy. It's a lie. My question was, are you denying the Bible and quoting the Bible? We, how am I, how, why would I deny the Bible and then quote the Bible? We're I proving the truth. Saying, We're putting the truth that's really written in the Bible. We're putting it out. Don't you see the scriptures on the sign? Right, you see these, these are Bible scriptures that describe the real man. They, okay. Uh, you didn't get your you question. Get your own okay, y'all, okay, just calm down. That's my Come on. No, 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 look, we come. We come. It ain't about calm. We meet. So we speak. We speak as men, like lions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. 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 So you had the, uh, uh, you know, Matatia, which is uh, the brother on my, uh, will be on the left uh, hand side. Okay, he was the uh, talking at first. And the brother Kapatiza, who was holding the sign of uh, Cesare Borgia, they came at the woman rough. Okay, they did. But this woman had attitude. And she, when, when you uh, uh, go back a little bit more, and you can't really see it because she wasn't on film. When they first approached, she was already trying to scoff. You had to be there to see that. You know, you had to uh, uh, be there, um, you know, and see it with your own eyes. Because, like I said, it doesn't pick up on camera. Okay? So, we already knew what spirit she was coming in. And she asked this question several times, and we, you know, told her uh, plainly. Okay? And she was getting upset because she couldn't understand it. All right? She couldn't understand the answer. Then you even had the uh, the elder Yakya, who was cool, calm, and collective. He has got a very, um, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, he's a very mellow brother, okay? He answered it, you know, without, you know, you know, just like I said, real cool, calm, and collective. And these, and these women still had a problem with everything, okay? And you're about to see the brother Matatia. Not even talk to them. 
but he's about to you know talk basically to the camera and say that pretty much this is the re uh, this is the problem with our women man okay and then you're going to see in a moment that since he was basically calling her out on her bullshit she couldn't handle it man okay and then her friend ended up you know she's going to uh, basically assault the brother Kapataza all right, you're about to see it right now. And that's the problem with the fucking nigga woman, man. Uh -huh. And that's the problem with the uh, pictures of our nation, man. With the niggas you see? and the fuck you see? Cause now you can't hey, find that bitch man, look, for what? Who is goofing ass nigga? It's my baby. 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 And as you saw too, that that infant baby, like I said, maybe two months old. Doesn't care about the infant, the child of hers. She doesn't care about that. She's more worried about uh, uh, her being a uh, uh, right, even though she's wrong. Her being a uh, right, and her her, her making uh, 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 trying to get her point across, and, and trying to uh, basically make us bow down to her. The hell with that, man. All right. See, that's the thing. These people aren't used to uh, uh, real men. All right. They're not used to people. Rebuking them and calling them out on their bullshit. All right. It's cool. You get it right. You don't get it right now. Shame this woman shall be counted as a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bitch. That's what the Bible says, man. A bitch. That's what the Bible says, man. A bitch. If you come up here and be disrespectful to men, no, call you a bitch. You a bitch. What you talking about? A bitch. God, chapter twenty-seven. Shut up, bitch. See, she had to, you know, hit the brother, got in his face, hit the brother. Did all that madness. Now the dude wants to jump in, man, her man. All right, because she, he knows he's, she's about to get her ass stomped out, man. All right. But, it, but really, this shouldn't have happened in the first place. If this man got everything in order. But see, our, the men of our, our nation are very bitch made now. And, and they, um, uh, uh, they, 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 they believe in a, uh, what is that called, man? I forget the, uh, man, where, it's where a woman runs the household, man. Not patriarchal, but uh, like, I forgot what it's called. Because patriarchal means uh, basically, uh, you know, everything is, uh, you know, run by the, uh, the man, okay? And it's head by, 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 by the men. I forgot what it's called uh, for the woman. All right, but these men are used to women running shit, man. All right, and hey, uh, hey, you men out there, man, that don't want to uh, get right, and you want to follow behind your woman, death to you, man. You're gonna die in America, man. All right, you're gonna die in this fucking place. See, and through the spirit, man, through the spirit, she attacked the brother again, okay? And we stayed spiritual. The elder brother, Yakia, told us all to fall back and all of us to listen to orders, okay? And we fell back. And we had the right to stomp her out, her man out, and anybody else that wanted to get involved in that because you can't even see it. But there were like two of, I think about two men that weren't even with them that tried to get involved in this. Just because they saw a woman getting cursed out, man. That's why you fucking niggas are gonna die in America, man. Alright? Fucking this woman worship shit is gonna be destroyed, man. Alright? You, 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 you fucking men are a bunch of pussies in America, bro. This shit gets fucking annoying, man, and vexating. Having to deal with this shit all the goddamn time, man. I can't wait for the Lord to fucking just really destroy you motherfuckers, man. Proud ass fucking Americans, man. Look at this goddamn buffoon, man. Then the cop comes. And then you know this is a woman worship society. This dude was there the whole time watching everything. Didn't even charge this woman with assault. But whatever, through the spirit though, the Lord's going to destroy that, that fucking entire family miserably. Systematically destroy that entire family brick by brick, man. Alright, so to speak. Now, get a, uh, a couple more scriptures. Salakia, that was a little bit longer than expected, but 
I had a uh, play all day. This is Psalms 105. Oh, actually, let me get this real quick. This is Amos 5 and 10. And it reads, They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh upright, uprightly. And, and these people hate us because we rebuke them in the gate. We, we go in the, uh, the main places of concourse, and we tell people what they're doing wrong. We show them their transgressions, and we don't spare anybody. What is that? Isaiah 58 and 1. Okay? We're commanded to do this by the Heavenly Father, all right? Because if we don't do this, we're going to get put to death. So we go out there, and we put people on blast, so to speak, man. All right? We tell people what's right and what's wrong. All right? And you people hate that. And you hate that we uh, uh, speak up rightly. Because you people love wickedness. And guess what, man? Since you love wickedness, you're going to uh, 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 receive death, man. That's the judgment. If you want to live a wicked lifestyle, or no, it's not even a lifestyle, it's a death style. Hey, the Lord's going to uh, give you that judgment. You're going to get that four sword judgment. Okay? Now from there I'm going to go to the Psalms 105 and 15. And it reads. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. See these people don't understand. That once you touch a prophet man, you do harm to a prophet. Whether it be physically, okay, or even a... Uh, 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 um, Doing it, you know, you know, through your lips, man, or you know, slandering a brother, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, jeopardizing his uh, livelihood. The Lord's gonna destroy you, man. Okay. The Lord's gonna give you a harsh death. See, the heavenly Father doesn't take that that stuff lightly. All right. Unless you repent. Okay. And there's an example of that in the scriptures. Uh, whom everyone knows as Apostle Paul, he, he was known as Saul, and he did, you know, uh, 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 um, attack a, 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 a man of the Lord. Okay? He attacked Stephen, but the Lord opened his eyes and he repented. He repented from his actions. Okay? That's the only way you're not going to get destroyed. Okay? But for the, the majority of you, you're going to get put to death, man. Alright? You're going to get uh, put to death terribly. Now from there, um... Luke 11 and 47. Eleven, And we're going to get uh, 47. This is a Luke 11 and 47. We're going to go down to uh, 50, uh, 51. Luke 11 and 47. Woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allowed the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their uh, uh, sepulchres. Therefore also said the wisdom of the Most High, I will send the prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute. Yeah, and that's you, uh, uh, you two thirds out there, okay? All right, D uh, destruction unto you because you and your forefathers have always persecuted us, always gave us a hard time. Some of us uh, were put to death by you. All right. And this is why you're going to be destroyed. Because this is an ongoing thing. Because there's nothing new under the sun. This has been going on for generations after generations after generations. You fucking hard-headed niggas, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You Israelites. You, 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 you've been bucking up against uh, the Heavenly Father and His Son. In the in, in uh, uh, their messengers, man, which are the prophets, man, for a very long time. So that's why when all hell breaks loose, when Jacob's trouble uh, hits, you're gonna have no protection, no shield, and you're gonna die terribly, man. 
This is not a joke and this is not a game. That's why uh, destruction is happening worldwide. All right, because you people need judgment. And it's going to get worse as time uh, uh, keeps going on. As Yahweh Shai gets uh, closer to his second return. All right. I'm going to keep reading. This is verse 50. That the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple. Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. And, that, and it will be. You people that, that come up against us, you people that have killed us in the past, and even now, man, because some of the prophets have died uh, in this current generation because of you motherfuckers, man. All right? Hey, a person in our camp died because of niggas, man. All right? All right? The brother Azaria. And I believe he, he, he's a part of the elect, man. He's just waiting to, to, to get busy on you people, man. Okay? And you people are all going to die terribly. This is all going to be uh, required of you. And you're going to eat your children. You're going to eat yourselves. You're going to get raped to death. Alright? A lot of you are going to see those thermonuclear missiles come and touch down on this place, man. And you're going to know that a prophet was among you. And that you fucked up, man. And that you fucked up. And you're going to be shamefaced in the kingdom, man. All right. Now from there, I'm gonna get a uh, First Thessalonians two and fourteen. This is uh First Thessalonians two and fourteen, and we're gonna go down to fifteen. And it's and it reads, "For ye brethren became followers of the churches of Yahweh, which in Judea are in Yahweh Shah Mashiach." For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, which both killed the Lord Yahweh Shai and their own prophets, and have persecuted us, and they please not the Most High Yahweh, and are contrary to all men. Okay? And that's what we go through, okay? We, we, we've suffered, you know, these things by our own countrymen. That's to buck up the most. Our own people. Because if we have, you know, uh, uh, Edomite, a so-called white man, a Moabite, a so-called Chinese, an Ishmaelite, a so-called Arab. You know, they, 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 uh, sometimes it gets, you know, um, it gets heated up. But a lot of times when people disagree, you know what they do? They just walk away. They go enjoy their day. They go to the movies. You know, they, 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 they go shop. They go eat. Okay. But our people, they just don't know how to let shit go, man. Alright? They always gotta be right. And they think that them acting like wild beasts is gonna get them somewhere. And that there's gonna be no repercussions, man. See, that's the thing. This society teaches our people there's gonna be no repercussions. Okay? But the Heavenly Father uh, requires uh, uh, um, uh, something of you, okay? If you... Basically, for every action, there's a reaction, okay? Heavenly Father is got. Uh, he's going to require something of you. You're going to be put to death, man, okay? Or, like I said, you need to repent. You need to repent and sin no more. Is it one or the other? Okay? Well, we know the majority of you uh, uh, Israelites, you two thirds, you, you, you're not gonna, uh, you know, you're not gonna repent. You're just gonna uh, rebel more and more. All right. That's why, hey, man, there's no uh, re rehabilitation for two thirds. You can't. Uh, how can you sit there and try to uh, 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 work with somebody like that? The only thing you can do, uh, uh, the best thing you can do for them, hey, man, the best thing for them is getting put to death, man. That's it. Now, uh, this is the second Ezra 1 and 32. I send unto you my servants the prophets, whom you have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. Okay? So the Lord is going to require all that, okay? He, he, he's going to, uh, uh, for, for all your wicked deeds that you've done to us, 
you you're gonna have, uh, be uh, uh, held accountable uh, for that. Okay, you're gonna get a uh, uh, a um. You know you you're gonna get a a, a reward for that. That reward is gonna be death, chaos, and destruction, weeping and gnashing of teeth, agony. All right. I'm telling you, man. You 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 two thirds are gonna learn. You're gonna learn, man. It's gonna be the harsh way. Just a bunch of badass kids, man. Bunch of badass kids that need to be uh uh uh, uh destroyed, man. And this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon three and nineteen. Ash, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up. Salakia. Yeah, I'm gonna start up here. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 11. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labor is unfruitful, and their work's unprofitable. And that's these people out here. You know, all those people that bucked up against us on the line, who try to fight us. You despise wisdom and, and nurture, and you're a bunch of miserable people. Your hope is in vain. Because you believe in America that this place is going to keep going on forever and ever. Which is going to be destroyed. We're in the last, you know, remaining moments of this kingdom. It's evident. If you can't see it, then you're truly blind or simply retarded. Okay? Your uh, labors are unfruitful. If you're not doing uh, 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 what's commanded by Yahweh Bashim Shai, it's unfruitful, man. Everything that you have is going to be destroyed. It's going to melt with fervent heat. Alright? And your works are unprofitable. Their wives are foolish and their children are wicked. Exactly. Look at that guy, man. That, that dude was nothing but a wicked ass nigga, man. And so the Lord gave him a foolish ass woman to be around. And your children are wicked. Hey, them little ass kids, man, they're going to get put to death terribly, man, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They, hey, man, they, they, that might be the, uh, uh, the, their next meal in the near coming future. Those little kids. Their offspring is cursed, wherefore blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which hath not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. So your offspring is cursed, man. They're unprofitable. I'm going to jump down to... Uh, 16. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection, and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. And that's, that's uh, you, you guys, you're all children of adulterers. Alright? You're, spiritual, you're uh, uh, spiritual idolaters and adulterers, man. Alright? You commit spiritual fornication. If you're not following the law, statutes, and commandments, listening to the prophets, alright? Calling on the names uh, first and foremost of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You're you're an adulterer, all right, and you're not going to come to perfection. You're going to die in this place miserably. For though they live long, yes.